I've got a DeWalt battery pack that when I put it on the charger, it says hot cold delay. Always, no matter what I do. Other battery packs work fine on the charger. So let's open it up and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. In order to do this, you need a Torx security bit. Not sure if you can see that, but it's basically a Torx screwdriver with a little hole in the center because these Torx screws have a little pin in the center. Because apparently there's no user serviceable parts inside. Alright, good battery, bad battery. Now my suspicion is that the problem is related to the thermocouple. On the outside of our pack, we can see this TH. That's the thermal management uh, pin uh, that connects to a thermistor, which measures the temperature of the battery. This is our good pack, and uh, from the research I did, that thermistor is apparently connected to the positive terminal. So I should see something like 10K or so here, and I do. So I can see 13.68K. Uh, and now on our bad pack, if I measure that same connection, all right, there's nothing there. Okay, so we have a bad thermistor for sure. All right, let's see if we can find that thermistor and replace it. All right, so this is our good pack. All right, it looks like to get to the bottom of this board, we're going to have to remove it means desoldering these big wires. These wires appear to be not just copper, they're uh, steel, I think. They're very springy. So once I break the connection, I have to hold it away from the tab until the solder rehardens. These connections appear to be welded rather than soldered. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this one and then try to flip the board up. Let's see if we can get this board up now. Okay, pretty sure this is our thermistor here. Adding a little fresh solder often makes it easier to unsolder components. Now yeah, let's see if I can get both of those. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's our thermistor. And if I measure across it, Interesting, I get 10K. So that thermistor is good. All right, so our problem is somewhere else on this board. Okay, so let's do some continuity uh, testing. This terminal here is the thermistor sense point. I've got one side of my multimeter connected here. So we have continuity. Got continuity here. The trace for this is on this side of the board and it goes down to this second point here. It's a little corroded, but I do get continuity to that. And then and I don't see a trace on that side of the board. Go back over here. Okay, so it looks like there's a, a through hole right there. This is the trace that leads to one side of the thermistor. Alright, the other side of the thermistor. Of course, there's no thermistor in there now. Alright, we have continuity to this, which is labeled F1. Could that be a fuse? Why would you put a fuse there? Well, regardless, we have continuity to the other side of it, so that's cool. Goes from here to another through hole over here. 
So now we're back on this side of the board. So now we're through to this side of the board to here. And we've got continuity to that point. Got this resistor here. And we have no continuity there. So, okay, so it looks like our problem is this resistor right here. It's a 100 ohm surface mount resistor. I have never dealt with surface mount components before, so this is going to be fun. How do I get that off? There, so I just made a big enough blob of solder to melt both sides at the same time. So looking closely at this board, this pad from that 100 ohm resistor connects directly to the B+. So Essentially, all I need to do is put my thermistor back in there, and then I need to connect this leg of the thermistor to B plus with a resistor. And I think I can do that on the other side of the board. So let's put our thermistor back in. Okay. All right, let's get this board back in place. Okay, so now all we need to do is we need to get our 100 ohm resistor from here to here. So, I'll bend a little loop in the lead. Clip that off. connect to our thermistor solder that in place take a little piece of Teflon sleeving maybe about that long that on our lead okay so from here to here we should read our thermistor which we do so I think we've fixed this pack let's uh, close it up and make sure that's the wrong cover it's this cover Okay, and now the acid test. And we are charging. Dwalt 20 volt max battery pack. Bad surface mount resistor.